Hey there team, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel. So this is the third of three free games on Epic today. Uh, part of the Christmas sort of giveaway that Epic does where they give away a free game every day for 15 days. Um, it just so happens that they're doing three of these games all in one go. So you should go and claim them all and I'm, I'm chucking up videos for each of them. So I'll admit I'm totally out of my depth on this game. I've, I, I'm not familiar with it. I don't think I've ever played it. I think I confused it with a different fallout console game where it's more sort of action rpg this is something else in between um so you know apologies i, I don't necessarily have the nostalgia or the experience for it but we'll have a look at it with a fresh set of eyes because i just started playing it and i was like oh i don't know what's going on here um i can't seem to get the graphics to stretch like i got the other two to do but once you get into the game it, the full screen sort of pans out anyway um let's just go new game this is all very familiar. Oh wow, how edgy. Jesus Christ. Peter, Betty. Wilma. Oh, we got lots of dudes. Mick. Mick, you seem to have a chain in your eye hole. It's not great. It's not great. Um, oh my god, no. No, you'd, uh, you'd have to fucking hold me down and force me to play that character. Ah, again with the fucking nose rings. Wilma. What are you good at, Wilma? Charisma. Oh, for fucking sake, it's always charisma. No, you're Betty, sorry, you're Wilma. What's Wilma good at? Very good. Agility. Um, and then and then back to me. I don't know, let's bloody take Wilma. Let's give her a red hot roll and see what it's about. So this game seems to have a sort of real-time action system. This is crazy. Alright. I am Paladin Rychek. I am in charge of training you backward maggots in the art of war and survival. In my time in the Brotherhood, I have personally trained more than 50 initiates, and I am proud to say almost 14 of them are still alive and kicking. <laughs> the elders have ordered me to mold you flabby, hip-slapping, berry-picking, rat-rubbing, brahmin kissers into capable warriors. And I am going to do it, even if it kills you. I will teach you how to eat, sleep, walk, talk, shoot, spit like a Brotherhood soldier. <laughs> First level of training will be recruitment detail. You'll go to the surrounding villages and see what able-bodied primates are ready for an honest life's work. It is your duty to remind the village elders that if they want continued protection from the scum of this world, they will uphold their end of the bargain by providing resources and their best... Ah, it's an extortion them. racket, I see. Now get your weak need superstitious, soft skin, uneducated punch to the armory. You'll be issued basic weapons and armor. There are three simple rules to follow with Brotherhood equipment. If you damage your weapon, you will spend a week in the box. If you damage your armor, you will spend a week in the box. Fair enough. If you lose either, I'll kill you myself. Right, eh? And one final thing, ladies. Huh? Welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, ah, there you go. A warm little. Look at that. The sergeant you love. At ease, initiate. My name oh, great. is great. I get a wall of text. I will be giving My favorite. You your orders before ever mission. Yeah. But before that, I'd like to personally welcome you aboard. Wonderful, thank you. Considering that the Brotherhood basic training attrition rate is 85%, you should be very proud of yourself. Now, on to business. Two nights ago, raiders invaded the resource rich tribal village of Brahminwood. Right. Their losses have been heavy, and they are now ready to accept the Brotherhood's conditions for protection. We will return their lands and rescue these primitive people in exchange for food and a portion of their older children for new recruits. Yeah, of course, it seems we must totally reasonable. Our ranks to meet our objectives, which makes every village count. I don't know what is driving the raiders this close to our base of operations, but they have been punishing the surrounding area. Brahmin Wood is one of many villages that is now occupied by raiders. Right. The inhabitants that did not escape have been slain or imprisoned. Make no mistake, Initiate. They have killed a fair amount of our brothers. Do not underestimate them. Right. You will take your squad to Brahmin Wood, locate and eliminate the leader of the group of raiders. Once he is removed, his followers will surely fall into disarray. You will then use the Brotherhood's superior might and intellect to butcher the remaining criminals. <laughs> this yeah. is a standard assault mission. So, consult the map in your Pip-Boy for the latest intelligence on the area. 
One more thing, warrior. You must ensure that the village elder survives. He is the key to our plans for this town. According to the local tribal custom, he alone deals with outsiders. Without him, we can have no agreement with the rest of the tribe. All right. This man. Very good. Sounds good. Okay. Now, I had a quick fit. Oh, I can control them all. That's sweet. Yeah, so if I press shift, I can select them all. And you can see here, this is, you know, this is all very familiar. AP, that sort of thing. Except it all happens in real time. If I shift click, they will run. Alright. Tribal unhurt. Can I? I don't. Alright, spacebar recenters, but I don't believe there's a pause button. So there's a dude up here. Oh shit, what are you doing? I want everyone involved, please. Uh oh. Nice. But if you click on the individuals, like Wilma, you can see she's got regenerating AP. What the fuck is going on here? Farsight, you should probably shoot from there. Yeah, like that. Oh, Jesus. Hang on, hang on. You got lucky, shithead. Stitch. Good work, Stitch. And then I guess we can loot them. Nice. Take all. Yes, this is wild. This is really different. It's almost in between um, OG Fallout and, you know, Fallout 3 and that. That's kind of cool. All right, Wilma's in this hurt locker a little bit. Do not switch off. Okay. Good work. I, I don't, I, now, that old mate didn't want to move. Why don't you want to go, Stitch? Probably because your gun doesn't have range. Alright. Can I press like one, two, three? Wilma's in. What are you doing? Oh, did I. I must have turned on an ability or something? Oh, shit. Maybe that one? Crouch? Sentry mode? What's sentry mode? Stop flashing, please. I'm trying to read you. Right click, sit accuracy through. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why Why would you keep flashing? You're killing me, game. Um, use this. Use this on yourself, Wilma. Good work, love. All right. Detected. Right. I got him out of stealth mode somehow. Stand still. I'll get this over for you real quick. Alright, hang on, hang on. Let's fuck this dude up. Let him have it. Yeah, good work. Alright. This is this is very different. This is very wild. Do I like it? I know I, I I like the gimmick of it so far, I guess. This is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I could swear there was a like a co-op thumbstick, you know, like a twin stick shooter type Fallout game on console, but maybe I'm misremembering. And all this time I kind of assumed it was this. That's cool. So from my perspective, this is like a forgotten Fallout game. Get him. This is a bit of a mess. I'm going to feed you to my pet iguana. Oh my god, th th those character animations are, are unreal. Farsight's dead! Oh no, hang on. I don't know, can I like press inventory to pause? Doesn't look like it. 
Could you please fight automatically, game? Alright. So Farsight's just dead. So what is it's a shame that the modern UI seems to be having a problem with this. Sentry mode off. Right click sit accuracy threshold. Right. Now what's this here? Sentry mode defensive. Sentry mode off. And then sentry mode aggressive. So does that mean that you guys just seek out enemies on your own sort of thing? Wilma. Strong kick. What happened there, Wilma? Are you, have you run out of healing potions? Hang on, how do I equip that? Armor. Oh no, there you go, it's worked. I guess Farsight's dead. Now, I'm not sure if they're just hanger-on tutorial characters, or what's, what's the geo there? Now, maybe this aggressive sentry mode means that my AI will just go start attacking cunts on their own. Let's see. Looks like it. Apparently Wilma's not interested in attacking things. Stitch is dead. Yeah, so how come you're... I've got you set to sentry aggressive, and yet you're not attacking anyone? Hmm. I don't understand. Breath is a pathetic attempt to clear your blood-filled lungs. If only you had... Righto, if you say so. Ah, oh, it's my favourite screen. Dare, dare I click this basic? Is this just going to tell me Attention. stuff? I am Paladin Ziskel. All right. The elders have ordered me to mold you lizard chasing hunt. Oh, here we go. Let's do this. It's a bit back to front, but the, this game is doing something unconventional, which is cool. The basics of combat, followed by inventory management and other skills. Yeah, okay. First, let's talk about this miracle of technology which you are currently using, called the Pip Boy 2000 computer. Yep, yep. You will yeah, no, it's very very thematic. Very let's cool. Let's get started, recruit. During the mission, you can view your surroundings by using the cursor keys to scroll the viewing window. Yep. You can also use your mouse to scroll the window by holding it over the border of the desired direction. Yep. Center the game window on Rex by right-clicking on his control tab. Take a look around. You will only be able to see oh, the enemy is... if there is a need direct to tighten line this up, of sight eh? between them and at least one of your squad members. Rex is carrying a submachine gun, SMG, in his left hand. This is his currently selected weapon. If you don't have a weapon in your selected hand, then you can... Right. No, I read that ahead because it was getting a bit much. He just... He wants me to click to these. Rex move, you must left click on the location you want him to move, move to training to. station 2. That's not what I had Every in mind. Every character but in okay. the game has an inventory associated with them. Close this. You can loot corpses to see... Yep. Very good. Most weapons have more than one mode. Yep. For example, the SMG can be used in either single shot or... Yep, so it's got a lot of... There you go, single shot. It's got a lot of holdover from Fallout 1. I oh, don't do it to me. Oh, look, I've still got my skill decks. Let's see if this works. <laughs> it worked in Fallout 2. Surely it works here. It does nothing. Oh, no. Maybe I need to loot the dummies. Get a key. This window shows two inventories. On the left... Oh, no. Okay, right. The key you have found is one of many unbelievable... This isn't exactly as... Uh, this isn't addressing my concerns. It's teaching me how to open fucking doors. I wanted it to explain to me what's going on because this game is so different. Many items in the world are in containers, hidden from prying. Yeah. Oh, there it is there. Oh, fuck. I was like, there must be a box here. I barely see it. All the right. container object menu is exactly the same as the looting menu. Yep. Take all. Thank you.
Fucking... The final type of weapon we will cover is the throne weapon. Yep. I figured all this out on my own, thank you. Oops. All the uh, animations the are really cool. Yeah. Your characters have three Here we go. This is what I want to understand. These are selected using the buttons to the right of the right hand slot. One, off. Only attack when specifically told to do so. Two, defensive. Report back to the squad leader whenever an enemy is sighted and defend yourself if attacked. Right. Three, aggressive. Attack any hostile creatures if you have more than a 33% chance of hitting them. The attack threshold can be changed by right clicking on the button. Right, so that might be why she wasn't attacking. The SMG and put Rex into attack mode by left clicking. Right. Bang. Bang. Okay. Your characters will have a It's got more of an RTS things. thing going on. Hey. By using the buttons to the right of the sentry mode controls. 1. Standing. Well, this may be new to some of you tribals. Standing upright has been around for years. <laughs> It's also the default mode and the only mode where the character can run. Two, crouch. This is useful for getting under low obstacles. It also gives the character a higher chance to hit the enemy with guns because the weapon is held steady. Oh. Crouching is also useful if there aren't any toilets around. Three, prone. This is useful for getting under very low obstacles. It also gives the character the highest chance to hit the enemy with guns. Some weapons, such as the knife, cannot be used when prone. But watch out, you're much more susceptible to melee attacks when- Ah, no. that's a Go cool- Okay, I, okay, I like this. So, it's a, it's it's about programming your squad a little bit, right? So, I guess we want to go prone to go under this hole, right? This lesson will introduce some of the skills that will be useful Lock to pit you- Lockpick skill? I bet I can figure this out on my own. Lockpick. Here we go. Do this. So yeah, that's cool. It's got some of the old mechanics. Wait, what happened then? Right-clicking attacks as well. Oh, wild. Okay. Let's move on to stealth. The next door is closed because it is equipped with a motion detector that will keep it that way as long as it detects movement in this room. All right. Your chance to sneak is improved when your character is crouched or prone. But remember, you cannot sneak while running. Also, certain types of bulky armor will reduce your chance to use... Let's click on the sneak button now, in the skill dex menu. All right. Sneak. The green bar on your character's tab indicates how healthy your character currently is. Yeah. Your health can be restored by using the stim pack which you found earlier. This object can be used to... Re I'm sneaking there. I'm going to crouch as well. Um, inventory? The inventory window will list all the- No, go away. Use on Rex Power Cult. Done. Fully healed. All of the statistics which govern your character abilities can be viewed through the character- Yep. Use the character, the character screen. The window contains explanatory <gasps> text for all of the stat- Yeah, okay. Yeah, cool. Got some skill points, very good. Finally, when you meet non-hostile characters, you can choose to talk to them. Some of these... Talk to this dude now, Elder Wounded. Hello, sir. Congratulations on getting this far, my son. Thank you. You have completed this tutorial. All right, cool. And then apparently there's a shitload of other tutorials, but that one's sort of brushed up against Ambush, Stealth, Sniper. I don't really care about any of that. That's fine. I'm going to just get it, uh, whatever, we'll, we'll take this bloke. We're going to go back in, but we're going to try and use the lessons learned, you know? Sentry and all that sort of crap. All right, so I'm going to put you on aggressive sentry. What's, a uh, right click changes the threshold, doesn't it? All right. And then we're going to move together. Now, it occurs to me the shotgun dude won't probably attack because his threshold... Okay, 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 so now she's shooting. And then when I get closer, my dudes will probably attack. There we go. 
And now we're all stabbing each other, which is wonderful. Will you stop to fight along the way? What are you doing? Why aren't you on sentry mode? You are on sentry mode, you're not attacking? I don't understand what's going on there. I, I put you on aggressive mode, why aren't you attacking? Okay. This might take a little bit more finessing. It's fiddly, but I'm all for games that are sort of ahead of the curve as well, trying different things. Attack him now. Yeah, there we go. That's kind of sweet. But very fiddly. You can't zoom in. This perspective is a little bit too forced out, but that's probably because of modern scaling. And... Yeah, I guess there'd be a stress component to maneuvering your individual dudes during combat. Sentry mode defensive. Let's just try that again. Can I drag? Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. This is a bloke in there, isn't there? Attack when it fight when attacked. You're not going to attack back. Okay. Did you just throw your spear, you hard boy? Haha, <laughs> that's cool. Okay, well, look, there's a lot going on here. Um, you know, I'm doing my best to showcase all these games within a 30-minute window. This is cool. I, I feel like there's probably like a real sort of cult following of this game that loves it. Um, I appreciate that it's doing something very different. I was not expecting this at all. So different from every other Fallout game I've ever played. So it's cool. But at the very least, pick it up for yourself. Check it out. It's free. You can poke and prod it all you want once you've claimed it. Maybe you can get more out of it than me. I'm not, I'm not actually against it at all. I just, um, I feel... I feel like what it's trying to do is eluding me still, which, if we're being honest, now, I'll take the L if I'm just a fucking dickhead. That's fine, right? I mean, uh, sure, I'm a guy who plays video games for a living. How smart could I really be in, in all reality, right? But the truth is, I think, even if you take your dickhead gamer and you put them in front of a video game and they fuck around with it for 30 minutes, and they're still kind of confused what the game's trying to do, uh, meet me halfway. You know, I think maybe there's a telegraphing issue. I think maybe the game's not getting its concepts across as smoothly as it possibly could, especially when it's coming on the back of an established franchise that there's an expectation, right? You know, most people install this for the first time, they're going to expect it to play exactly like Fallout 1 or 2, right? I, I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation. And now it's doing something really different um, and not exactly, and the tutorials weren't super helpful explaining what exactly it's trying to do there. Anyway, um, just some thoughts on the end there. It's not necessarily a condemnation. I just, and again, as, as you go back in time and older games, you do give them a little bit of leeway as to, you know, in 2022, if you can't nail a, a tutorial, I will, I will hold you to, to account there. But if your game is like 10, 20 years old, and it's not explaining itself super well. Well, I think it gets a little bit of a pass because it's an older game. But anyway, what would I know? I'm just an idiot who plays video games, so I wouldn't listen to anything I say. Check these games out. Grab them for free while you can. Uh, team, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.